When the shot clock is winding down and there's one possession left, the players on this list are who you need to save the day, as we're naming the best NBA player from every buzzer beater total. Now I do have a few rules. First, these are game winning buzzer beaters, not first through third quarter buzzer beaters or general shot clock possession buzzer beaters. These are down to the wire shots. The second rule is it has to be a buzzer beater, as in game winning shot after the game clock ran to zero, not just a clutch game winning shot with a few seconds left, the hand has to beat the shot, but the ball has to go past the buzzing sound. Speaking of hands, it's time to answer the age old question. Does size matter? Hand size that is, and to find out, the Game Day has a new series on their YouTube channel called The Game Day Investigates. Their first investigation is finding out if Steelers new quarterback has big enough hands for the job. Click the link down below or card on top right to check out that series. The best NBA player with zero buzzer beaters is without question Bill Russell. Now before anyone assumes he played in the pre-shot clock era or if he's not clutch, both of these are false. The shot clock era started in 1954, Bill started playing in 1956. As for Bill being clutch, of course he's clutch. He's just so good that games don't usually come down to the wire for him since he's already taken care of things long before then. The best NBA player with just one buzzer beater is Steph Curry. Now the craziest thing here is that Steph only has one buzzer beater, but it's true. He has many close game winners and a lot of buzzer beaters from quarters one through three, but only one game winning buzzer beater. And that took place against the Rockets on January 21st of this year. Ironically, it was a two point buzzer beater, not a three point splash. The best NBA player with two buzzer beaters is Superman Shaquille O'Neal. Now this one is a controversial pick because many would only say that Shaq's got one real buzzer beater during his win in 1997 against the Utah Jazz. The second one technically comes in 2001 against the Vancouver Grizzlies. The Lakers won that game 113 to 112 thanks to Shaq's final seconds offensive rebound and then two point shot. But if you rewatch that play, his hand is still touching the ball. Should this count? Well, according to the history books, it technically does count since the Lakers did end up winning that game and it went on record for them being the winners. So on paper, Shaq does have two buzzer beaters. But if you disagree with this pick, I totally understand. Deciding whether Shaq got a buzzer beater or not is kind of a butterfly effect for NBA history because that would have counted as a loss against the Lakers record, it could have gave them a different seed and they may or may not have three-peated because a different seed would mean different opponents. The three-peat may or may not have happened which could affect future trades with Kobe and Shaq, but that story is for a later video. The best NBA player with three buzzer beaters is a tough call, you got so many legends to choose from such as Wilt Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, Kevin Durant, and Tim Duncan just to name a few. My pick, however, goes to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who I consider a top three all-time player. His first buzzer beater came in 1976 against the Bulls, his second in 1979 against the Clippers, and a third time in 1985 against the Spurs. The best NBA player with four buzzer beaters is Larry Bird, but Jerry West is a close runner-up. Also, shout out to Mo Williams for hitting four buzzer beaters in his career. Larry's buzzer beaters include his 1983 victory against the Suns, an insane back-to-back -back buzzer beater win in 1985 once on January 27th against the Blazers and another on the very next game against the Pistons on January 29th and a final one in 1987 against the Bullets. The best NBA player with five buzzer beaters is a tough call. You got Gilbert Arenas, Vince Carter, Andre Iguodala, Kevin Garnett, and Dwayne Wade as your options. The closest is KG vs Wade. You can make a great argument for each player. They play two completely different games but my pick has to go to Wade who I consider the third best shooting guard all time. Wade's buzzer beaters include a two point win against the Jazz in 2004, another against the Knicks in 2005, against the Jazz again in 2007, a three pointer against the Bulls in 2009, and his fifth one against the Warriors in 2019, proving that he still got it even in old age. There are only two players with seven buzzer beaters and those two are LeBron James and Paul Pierce. Paul is a great player but this one easily goes to LeBron James. LeBron's buzzer beaters come against the Warriors in 2009, the Magic in the 2009 playoffs, the Pacers in the 2013 playoffs, the Bulls in the 2015 playoffs, the Timberwolves in 2018, the Pacers in the 2018 playoffs, and the Raptors in the 2018 playoffs. That's a lot of playoff buzzer beaters for a guy that people say isn't clutch. There are only two players with eight buzzer beaters and those two are Kobe Bryant and Joe Johnson. Joe is a solid player but this one without a doubt goes to the Black Mamba. Kobe's 
buzzer beaters come against the Hornets in 2002, Memphis in 2003, the Nuggets in 2003, Portland in 2004, the Suns in 2006, the Heat in 2009, the Bucks in 2009, and the Kings in 2010. Rest in peace to Kobe. There's only one player with nine buzzer beaters, the most buzzer beaters in NBA history so far, and that belongs to the GOAT of the sport, Michael Jordan. Jordan's buzzer beaters come against the Cavs in 1989, the Jazz in 1990, the Pistons in 1992, the Cavs again in 1993, the Hawks in 1995, the Hornets in 1997, the Jazz again in 1997, the Hawks again in 1998, and the Cavs for a third time in 2002 while he was playing for the Wizards. So here is the best NBA player at every buzzer beater total. Let me know what you think of this list in the comments below. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.